this morning, uh, Vernon Police has issued an Amber Alert for Jackie Morris, age 32. She's believed to have her three children, Ryan, age 9, Dylan, age 7, and Brandon, age 7. Miss Morris is believed to be driving a red 2004 Volkswagen Jetta bearing Connecticut registration 876YGJ, 876YGJ. Miss Morris is uh, believed to be uh, with her children in that vehicle. Um, we are working with uh, law enforcement partners in Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Maine. Uh, the reason for the Amber Alert is we believe that the children's safety at this point uh, may be in danger and uh, we're looking to locate her as soon as possible. We ask that anybody who sees that vehicle contact 911 and report it immediately to the police. I'll take any questions you have. Initially, we issued a, a silver alert uh, for the children. Um, that was based on the initial information we gathered. Um, we upgraded it this morning to an Amber Alert because the silver alert notifies uh, in-state law enforcement. The Amber Alert would uh, notify law enforcement outside of Connecticut. Also, uh, the uh, requirements were met with the Amber Alert because we believe the, child, uh, the children may be in danger, uh, and therefore, uh, we upgraded it to an Amber Alert as a, a precautionary measure uh, because we want to locate them immediately. Now we were told that Ms. Morris had some has mental health issues. Can you expand on that? At this point, we don't want to comment on that right now. Uh, we may, be, may do that in a later briefing. Uh, we do know that based on our, uh, our history uh, with our prior contacts and information we learned, um, we believe that it would, it's a cause for concern that uh, we haven't located the kids at this point. Um, additionally, we do know from our investigation that she was last seen Sunday morning checking out of a local motel, and the kids have not been to school in two days. And where were the kids supposed to be returned to their um, At this point, uh, we know that there is a, uh, the mother does have, Miss Morris does have visitation rights to the children, um, but it, it's not a custody type of thing. Um, so I'm not sure when she's supposed to be returned, but. We do know they were supposed to be in school on Monday. We're supposed to be in school on Tuesday. They haven't. Um, we, we don't know where she's been since she's checked out of that local motel on Sunday morning. And we know that she's homeless. So um, or we believe that she's homeless. So uh, that all that is cause for concern. Now, you guys are on the lookout for possibly, as you said, a red Jetta. Can you talk a little bit about uh, the boys with the Jetta? Because that's something that we can look out for that as well. Uh, we've issued a uh, picture of the three boys. Um, we uh, released that to the media. Um, we ask that you put that out to uh, your news outlets. Um, and again, at this point, what we're looking at is for eyes uh, of the motoring public. If they see that vehicle in front of them, if they see that vehicle in a motel parking lot somewhere, uh, to notify uh, by 911 their law enforcement in that area so that we can uh, locate them. Our, our number one concern at this point is locating the children and making sure they're safe. That's our number one goal. Um, we obviously need the help of the media. We need the help of other law enforcement agencies. We are actively working right now with Maine, Maine law enforcement. Um, she does have ties up there. So uh, we're actively working with them right now to see if uh, they can locate her up in Maine. Do you know what the boys were last seen wearing? What Jackie Morris was last seen wearing? We don't. Uh, we know that she was staying at a local motel and she checked out uh, Sunday and that's all we know at this point. Has anybody heard from her since, and the family or friends? Have you talked to anybody? Uh, based on our investigation, n none of her relatives in Connecticut have heard from her in two days. Um, we don't know uh, at this point up in Maine yet. That's that's the area we're looking at right now. So you think if she's heading somewhere, it could be Maine? Uh, at this point, we're uh, we're we ha we're looking at everything, but we're sort of focusing right now on uh, on working with Maine law enforcement. Have you received any tips yet as to possible sightings of the vehicle? We haven't. We've only put this out about two hours ago, so we haven't received that. We're hoping that uh, with the, this being widely uh, put out to uh, both the motoring public and, and law enforcement that we will. Uh, like I said, right now, though, we're working very closely with Maine law enforcement, Maine authorities, and uh, we're hoping that uh, they can help us out. Do you know what the visitation uh, privilege or privileges are like for her? 
At this point, we're not going to get into that. Um, there is, she does have visitation rights, uh, but we don't want to get into the custodial, non-custodial issue at this point. Um, that's more of a civil matter, and that, that wouldn't be appropriate for us to comment on. The kids were staying with her at that motel? Right. She did, you know, she did at that point have, you know, it was agreed that she would have the kids uh, for a, that time period. Uh, but like I said, when they didn't show up for school Monday, they didn't show up for school Tuesday, nobody served from her. That coupled with our uh, information we gathered, plus our prior history with her, uh, that's where our concern is at this point. Our concern is for the three boys and uh, and getting them back as soon as possible. When did you first get the call in uh, from, from the father or whomever? We, uh, we, the father first uh, made contact with our department late last night. And I'm not, I'm not going to comment at that right now. What is your plan at this point, I don't want to comment on that, and I don't think it would be appropriate at, at this point to uh, say. I, it is safe to say that based on our history, our prior contacts, uh, it is reason why we have concern at this point uh, for the well-being of our three boys. And that the fact that they haven't been seen in 48 hours. Uh, those, the, his, the prior history and they haven't been seen in 48 hours is, is really where our concern lies. I'm not sure I could get you that, but I'm not sure at this point. One of, we, one of our most of I don't know. Would it be appropriate for us, would it be helpful to you if we made an appeal to the father, uh, perhaps if, if he wanted to do that, to get a message out to his ex-wife? Uh, at this point, we're not going to do that. I don't think he's comfortable with that. Um, and I don't think at this point it's necessary. Uh, I think what at this point, like I said, our... Our goal is to get the uh, the vehicle out, the information out, and uh, with the, the, the public working with law enforcement, um, we, we hope to resolve it. Uh, we will give a briefing in another hour to let you know of uh, any updates. One, one follow-up question. The father did not let you know until late last night. That's a day and a half or so from Sunday morning. Do you have any message for people out there if they think somebody's missing? Uh, do, is it more of just a feel on your own? When should they report these things? I, I think in this case, uh, it's not it's not a stranger. So obviously, if your kids went missing, you report them immediately if you don't know where they are. In this case here, you have uh, a, a parental issue going on. Um, so obviously, I don't. I think he, you know he did the right thing. He thought you know maybe things would, were going to work out. I don't, I'm not. We're not going to comment on that. Other than uh, like I said, it's, it's the concern is is the uh, not. Be, not showing up for school for two days and our previous history, uh, you know, is, is why we made it an Amber Alert. Can you, can you tell us when the children were supposed to have been back in his custody? I believe it was Monday morning. It was Monday morning. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you can very you, much. Can uh, you just read us that plate again for the people at home? Uh, because we are taking this live and we, we're late getting this first two seconds of the broadcast. Sure. It's, uh, it's a 2004 Red Volkswagen Jetta bearing Connecticut 876YGJ. 876YGJ. And this is the picture of the three boys. The other ones for. are twins. Yes. Now, are any Nine, of the seven, boys seven. on any type of medication that will increase the urgency to find them at all? Um, that's a good question. I'll have, I'll have an answer back on that. Um, find out if any of them are on medication that haven't been taking medication that's a good good question and I will uh, actually be looking into that um, when I go back in with the detectives all right thank you very much